Well, hi there. Welcome back to uh, Bus and Beyond. And I have brought the big van to the Adventure Overland Show here in uh, Stratford. Stratford upon Haven. Stratford upon Avon. Uh, it's at the race course there. They have one in spring and they have one in autumn. And it's all about sort of big trucks, big off roaders, uh, bushcraft, and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I brought the van along uh, for no real reason. I just wanted to give it a run, really. So, it's a couple of hours up here. But let's go and have a look at the show. putting these uh these tires to good use here is only two-wheel drive but the tires should help a bit at least and i've got my wellies on because they've had tons of rain here over the past couple of days so you might be able to watch me get towed out here later we actually film one of these Heimers on our channel so check that out if you haven't seen it already all off-road 4x4 lift kit the lot very capable camper van <laughs> Right, well this is a channel that I've been watching for a while now. Me and Lizzie absolutely love watching Andy and Lindsay, who are our van tails. And they've got this converted uh, Mercedes Sprinter. Andy lives in it full time, and uh, Lindsay is part time. She also um, works doing other stuff as well. So let's have a look around their van, because it's really, really cool. Fancy a fire engine? This one is for sale. Only 10 grand. <laughs> so what do you guys think of this? This is from Trek Vans. Based on a MAN TGE. Really nice, a fold down bed. But yeah, really nicely done. Nice colour. Very homely. I'm guessing this thing's amphibious looking at the propeller in the back there. There's an absolutely huge turnout of Land Rovers all around here. And then I love this old one here, that's so cool. It's in really good condition. Yeah, the sun's out now. I'm sure this mud will dry dry off. That amphibious uh, beast thing over there actually got stuck in here. I was kind of banking on that thing towing me out later. Maybe not. Now that is some serious kit. What an absolute beast. Look where the spare wheel's stored. <laughs> and it's actually on, it's on a big levered arm as well to bring it down, because that would be very, very difficult to get down otherwise. This is the full works. So I've just come inside this absolute beast of an overlander. There's a bed over the top there, over cab bed, big seating area here, and then you've got a lovely kitchen. 
and all the units are in the same color as outside which looks really smart and then yeah look at this it's huge in here it's massive you've got a washroom i'm guessing in here yep nice big washroom with a shower nice got to be so careful in here because the amount of mud that's around I do not want to get mud everywhere a mirror and then yeah that's your big double bed as well at the back very nice indeed this is an absolute go anywhere beast there's not many vans when you step out the door you're actually above the awning <laughs> that's mad I do like the colour of this transporter, that is very cool. That is actually a factory colour as well, very nice. Right, what do you guys think of this roof rack? These are a work of art, this is by Manta Deck. And you can see it's even got, this is what it's made from. And it's even got these portions on the front edge here. See just underneath. And they help reduce, um, well, improve your fuel efficiency and reduce the road noise as well. But yeah, it's an absolute work of art. Very impressive. And it's got like a standing deck on the back there as well. This mud is so thick. <laughs> I'm definitely getting towed out of this place. It is everywhere. I think it was like this last time I came here as well. I'm just looking at this pen pod trailer. It's really cool actually, really smart. Look at the like kitchen out the back here. I also really like the um, the tyre table, that's really cool where it just fits on the tyre and gives you a bit of outside storage space, that's really cool. And the actual food options here are pretty good. There's Thai food, Greek food, fish and chips, standard, burgers, standard. And there's also curryvurst and bratwurst, loads of options. Mmm, decisions, decisions. I went with Greek. using this for loads of ideas. I think this is the colour of the kitchen that we've gone for actually, so that's quite exciting. Looks similar anyway. But then I'm also looking at, we've got a front runner roof rack already and I'm trying to work out how to mount a, an awning to it and you can see there that that is mounted to the actual roof rack, so that's maybe an option. We'll have to see. Alternatively, you can see some are mounted like that onto the roof, but we can't do that because the roof rack's in the way. This is lovely inside. Brilliant. That is really nicely done, that. Cheers. Like yeah. it. Bed on actuators, full roof terrace on it. Oh, yeah. Deck on the top. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, this is quite interesting. I've just got back to the van and look what's parked alongside me. That is a new Grenadier. That's a 
basically like a new version of the Land Rover Defender, but not by Land Rover. It's quite interesting. It's, it says it's a prototype test vehicle on the side. So this has got to be quite rare. It looks really smart actually, it looks a lot better in the flesh. I, I wasn't a fan of the photos, but it looks really smart in the flesh. It's wider than a Defender, I think, but as in the old Defender. But yeah, it looks smart. It's right, right and drive as well. I don't know if they all are. I don't know much about them, to be honest. In fact, you can see the emergency stop buttons inside. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. I want one now. <laughs> that is smart. Right, well, there we have it. I'm back at the van. I'm a little bit concerned as to whether I'm going to be able to get out or not. So I'm not entirely sure what the process is <laughs> if I can't get out. But um, yeah, it was really nice to pop up to the Overland show. The weather was nice, it was decent. However, because they've had so much rain the past couple of days, it's so, so muddy and obviously people don't really want you going in their vans. And I didn't want to go in people's vans if I was got really muddy boots. So a lot of the shots, as you can tell, were from the outside. But we had a good look around and there's a few stalls and stuff. We came about four, four years ago, I think, five years ago and um, I can't say it's changed a huge amount. If anything, the actual camping area was probably a bit more interesting, but uh, yeah, it's good to come and have a look, good to get some ideas and some inspiration for our van. But let's try and get this thing out of this car park. <laughs> oh, don't cheer yet. <laughs> Well, do I dare say, I think, I think I'm out. Although I've got to, don't pull out in front of me. Oh. Yeah, someone just pulled out in front of me, so I've lost the momentum. Oh, well, at least they can tow me out if I need to, <laughs> if I need it. We made it out. Those Heimers always amaze me because they're full off-road kit, but what an overhang that is for off-road. I bet you worry about smacking the back of that, you must do, but it's cool looking, definitely.